So we'll see. Definitely a good start here for Green. He doesn't look too enthusiastic about it, though. Yeah, he's kind of just like, oh, yeah. Nah, that was fine. That was a weird style. But anyway, now that we're done with that, let's get into it for real stats. Let's go into the game as well, guys. Game number two, stats versus Dream. SK Telecom T1 Dream, Jo jung Hyo versus KT Roster Stats, Kim dae Young. Here in the north, in the red, our Terran player from SK Telecom T1, it is Dream. And to the bottom, in yellow, representing KT Rolster and Stats. Same sponsor as the tournament today. So obviously he has to win, just like life. Also, shout outs to Blizzard, I'm giving a ton of WCS points to this tournament. Yeah, this is um, a big deal, guys. Yeah, this is actually really huge. And already to have Fantasy, you know, make it further than he did increases his chances quite significantly. Um, looks like we're going to have a proxy here, but it could also just be an eBay block. That's a pretty early eBay block. Yeah, I think you're right. I was actually looking at the timing that, that uh, closely. Yeah, I wonder what he's going to do. Is it two barracks proxy? Yes, yeah, two rocks Whoa. proxy. Oh, Okay. Cool idea. Win game one. Go straight into this. <laughs> nice job, Observer, showing the Giga there. We yeah. see a lot of Nexus first on this map. Well, not a lot, but every now and then uh, it does pop up because we don't... Like, Reaper's got slightly less popular. We see CC first on this map a lot, too. So you have that backdoor expansion, the, the base I call the free base. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, if this were a Nexus first, this would be a great opening. It'd almost be just a straight-up win build yeah. otherwise. That's the thing about this map. It's like a, it's a huge map. You wouldn't expect this aggression. That base is so easy to take, just like you said. So it's kind of like using the assumptions of your opponent to get into his head. It's like, oh, you think I'm just going to make a CC first? But no, I'm going to go kill you. This pylon is going to become the standard. It's a Mac a pylon. I think this is actually going to become a standard because... It keeps the person who scouts you guessing so much when you do that. Yep. It also works really well with a lot of scout timings and other matchups. In this matchup as well, but he's not going to scout, which is going to come back to bite him because this uh, Terran push is going to hit his base. He's not going to have a Zealot. Well, that's not necessarily true. He might start the Zealot to block an SCV from blocking his Nexus. Uh, and then once he sees it's not cancel it, we'll see how he decides to play it. But this is still like very, this is like very proxy. Emphasis on the oh, yeah. proxy, like this is a super proxy. This is a super all in. Four SCVs more coming down here for Dream. Pulling the boys three minutes into the game. He's pooling these. This is so smart. Yeah. Never. I think he's gonna hit at a time where like there's just no Mothership Core even. <laughs> he's gonna get in there. He's gonna start a Stalker in just a second, I think. If he skips a Stalker and goes Mothership Core, okay, they start both. I think uh, Stats is in a huge amount of trouble. He actually probably should just bunker right next to that gateway in the pylon so he can't get surrounded. That would be so good. Okay, he's he just will. gonna bunker at the back instead. That's fine. So many SCVs here now, and now he's just gonna fight with these SCVs and the Marines together. SCVs have a little bit more hit points, so they're actually gonna fight and tank pretty well. And the DPS on these Marines is insane. Oh my god, look at this. This is like nearly every single probe. It might actually be every single probe, and he's gonna lose it all. And now we can actually fight in the Mothership Core. And more Marines are about to pop out. Look okay. at that damage, man. And the bunker's gonna finish. Oh, no. Okay. Hey, SCV's getting to work on that Stalker, even. Mother Supercore getting very, very low. He's trying to focus it down. He's gonna lose it. Oh, man. Well, it, it does tank a lot for the Stalker to get some damage done. Oh, this bunker, he's gonna get inside. That's actually pretty huge. But the Stalkers can kind of help cut reinforcements off. That's exactly what he wants to do. Send that Stalker down and cut off these reinforcements. Do not let them get in the bunker. But at the same time, Stats is kind of on a timer here, even with that just one Marine. Okay, so when he gets the third Stalker out, he might actually just want to send the two Stalkers to kill the, the barracks and then go to the main base. I think Stats is in a pretty decent spot, actually. He's going to be able to come over there and, you know, get the and get those uh, kills on the SCVs. He's just going to stop Marine production here. And he's going to have a, a fourth Stalker pretty soon. Like, the money that Dream has from his mules doesn't mean much if he's spending it on bunkers constantly, you know? Yeah. 
Let's see how this one turns out. See what stats can make of it. He's got a great position, like you said, on the two racks. There still is that one Marine being a bit pesky, and actually, all of the SUV is now going to be pulled. He needs them to the actually dream. get these Marines into the bunker. Okay, here they go. He needs to get that Stalker away. Oh, boy. He needs to <laughs> not get surrounded. That Stalker is going to oh die. My God. He had like 10 health left. Big mistake there from Stats. This is actually terrifying right now. Okay, the bunker is so, 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 so low. Or rather, not, not so low, but there's nothing in it. Yeah. Stalker taking a lot of damage. And those are his last SCVs. I think there's one SCV back at home. Plus the mules. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, he does he have said, some pressure. That's it. GG. Stats actually held it off. Very nicely done. Good micro there. Getting the Stalkers out to cut off the reinforcements is the key. And making sure those Marines couldn't get into the bunker. Very nicely done. May have rattled him a bit. You know, that's kind of a scary build to go up against. Right in your face, two racks. Seemed like Dream just like didn't want to play that math. He's like, okay, I, I won game one number one. Let me try to get in your head. A bit of a fast build here. Very aggressive, but just not able to pull it off. Well, that's going to tie us up here.